this log here, uh, I think it measures exactly, well, pretty much five foot across. So that is five foot across. Um, I have taken a couple of slabs off the top uh, with the with the Panther Horizon, uh, and I was just going to slab it outright, but I think changing my mind now, mainly because uh, the success of the intersect mill on sort of quartering log the other day, is, is get the end so it's lovely and square. So all your boards will come out, instead of having an angle on your boards, you'll just have them all nice and square. So I'll put a cut down there, and at the top I'll put a cut down there. So you can see from that, that gives you a lovely, uh, nice, square, clean edge on the log. Um, should be easier for fixing in the intersect with those brackets because they'll just go flat. You don't have to worry about them being twisted. Um, so probably the best thing to do is to take to try and do this as two or three. Might be best to do this as um, I'm thinking is sort of take off that bit, uh, take off, make a quarter there, another sort of quarter is there, and then another one on the end maybe. So three cuts in total. Um, I don't think the bar is not gonna go, we'll have to see, I'll have to take off this side first, take off that side as well, because really we want the bar to join up in the middle if we can, it will be easier. Um, because then I can leave the quarters there and they can be sort of slid off. Set up or that's a 30 inch bar. So yeah, that would come all the way down and I could just cleanly face off all the way down that side, but it's not gonna happen. You've got to try and do it with this 30 inch bar. Because I haven't got any sort of heavy lifting equipment here, having to do a lot of uh, vertical cuts with the nose buried, which is really awkward. And uh, this final cut, I think I'm gonna have, really I should have longer rails projecting all the way out so I can come back down this way. But I'm just gonna do it on the pushing bar carefully. So I suppose, so you've gotta be careful with that. Because Okay, fair amount of fiddling about to get that to work. I had to take off that lower bit there where I said I wish I'd had a longer saw because that would have just done it cleanly. Um, and then because I'm going to the maximum of the rails, I had to sort of manually cut this out and make sure that sat in there. Um, so it is a bit of a fiddle, bit of a fiddling about to get um, to do that of about 15 minutes. And now, um, but now that that's there, um, uh, I can come under and meet that. I'll probably go under a bit further. Um, there's not a lot of helping that really. Again, if you had more chainsaws, you could put a 20 inch bar and then you could exactly intersect that cut there. I don't think I'm gonna worry about it too much. I think this is 24 inches. Probably gonna bring it up to about there. So we're just, we're just gonna do that, I think.
Oh, my camera ran out of, uh, the old phone ran out of power there really. But yeah, it's, um, I mean, the actual theories worked well. Um, the oak itself is not great quality. I mean, that's obviously the poorest, poorest side. Um, but yeah, really the takeaway is if I'd had a 36 inch bar, uh, it would have, uh, I could have probably caught it properly like the last dog I did. Um, Cause that'd be another 12 inches across. Um, I think I'd have just about done it. And I'm gonna wait until I've got a 36 inch bar to finish that side anyway. If I had to, then yeah, you could still uh, do a horizontal there, take that away and then finish that there and then take that away. And then with whatever is left, um, you should be able to judge the, the vertical cuts um, to come down and uh, just dissect those last few pieces.